This is the Cashflow Digest. My name is Matt Faircloth, and me and the DeRosa team are here for you guys on a weekly basis with this podcast, YouTube video, and broadcast recording. This is also live on our Facebook group, DeRosa Insiders. In whatever medium you're watching, please take a minute and like this content. Leave a comment and leave it a review. We really appreciate you guys doing that. We're going to be talking about all things real estate and all things cash flow because our company is dedicated to transforming lives through real estate and cash flow can do that. We're going to be talking about things that are affecting the real estate industry, news in the real estate investing world. We're also going to be bringing on guests that are crushing it in the cash flow sector of real estate investing. If you guys want to join and watch the show live, please go to Facebook and look up DeRosa Insiders and join that Facebook group where we record this show every Friday at noon Eastern. Hope to see you guys there. What is going on, everybody? It's Matt Fairclough. I appreciate you guys joining me today. We've got a phenomenal guest. A guest and I are going to talk all things real estate. So you guys want to talk all real estate shop. We'd love to talk to you guys about that. Uh, I want to just remind you guys, this is a live program here on the DeRosa Facebook page. If you guys are watching the recording, shame on you. Join me live next time, Friday at noon. We go live every Friday at noon. So you guys can get your questions answered and uh, and then see it live, like a live variety show every Friday at noon. Okay? So, but... This is also a gratitude piece for you guys. I'm grateful for you guys being a part of the DeRosa Insiders free Facebook community. Uh, This uh, community is blowing up. We've got thousands of members now, and uh, we want you guys to get value for checking out the DeRosa group and for our DeRosa Insider stuff. So thank you to that. Guys, uh, I want to bring on uh, a a special guest. Uh, I was just on his show uh, earlier this week. Um, This is uh, somebody who's really like, if I may say, Brian, I'll bring you on as I bring you on here. You're kind of out for the little uh, little investor. You're really looking to create investing as available for everybody, guys. This is Brian Davis uh, from Spark Rental. Uh, Brian, thank you so much for joining me today. Matt, thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, My pleasure to well, be here. Good. All right. Uh, so, Brian, thank you for joining us here on this live program. I wanted to uh, see if you could take a minute real quick and introduce yourself uh, and do a brief intro to Spark Rental so we get to a conversation. Absolutely. So Spark Rental, we do a bunch of stuff, but our our main focus is we run a real estate investment club, which lets everyday people, no matter what your your income level, you do not have to be an accredited investor, uh, lets anyone participate in real estate syndications because we pool our money together to invest as a club. So instead of having to come up with the minimum 50 or 100 grand that you typically need to invest in a real estate syndication, we pull our money together so you can invest with $5,000 per deal uh, instead of having to park you know, tens of thousands of dollars in every single deal. So mm. even accredited investors, uh, we have plenty of those too. Uh, they like it because they can diversify, right? They can spread their money among many, many different deals, many different properties, many sponsors, many markets, uh, many different types of real estate. So that's that's the high level view of, of what we're doing, our real estate investment club. We also have property management software and a bunch of free real estate calculators and interactive maps and you know all that kind of fun stuff. Sweet. Yeah. I'm a big fan of free. My wife tells me. <laughs> Aren't we my, all? My wife says it was free take three. You ever hear that one? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, so uh, guys, we're going to, we'll get, make sure that we get a, uh, a link here from Brian to get access to all that free stuff, rental calculators and uh, cool stuff that he's got for us to have access to. Um, so if I could summarize it back, You've got a vehicle. You've you've built this you know, Spark Rental Group that allows folks to get involved in the real estate game, but not you know put the the, like say, you know, the minimum for Derosa Group investments for us. Just like many other syndicators out there, it's like you know fifty k. Uh, and some folks I, I've seen Brian this like inflation at work, right? I've seen other uh, operators that are charging seventy five to hundred k as a minimum investment or more as an investor. You know, unless you're independently wealthy, you're you got to be careful where you put your dollars because and you want it to go as far as you can. Uh, and so you built something, if I could say it back, that allows investors to have true diversification without going all in into one thing. If they've got 50k, 100k, they want to put to work. Yeah. So every single month, our club gets together. We vet a new syndication deal, and whoever wants to participate in that deal can do so with a minimum of five thousand dollars. Yep. They're all optional. You know, no one has to participate in any of these deals. Um, but yeah, our whole purpose is to let people invest five thousand dollars per real estate syndication deal. We do one a month, and um, yeah, at the end of the year, if you have, if you can invest, 
your fifty thousand dollars, for example, in twelve different deals instead of yeah. one deal, then it just becomes a numbers game of you know what's the average return across those twelve deals, as opposed to you know pulling your hair out about oh is this one deal the right deal you know uh, you know staying up awake at night uh, you know stressing about that one did deal I pick that you a bad in. horse did I put my 50k my hard earned 50 grand 50 grand is a lot of money to anyone Brian so um is is uh, did I put the, my 50 grand on the wrong uh, you know on 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 the wrong uh, operator right or exactly. is it going to be subpar am I going to have FOMO by hearing my next door neighbor talk about how the self storage uh, investment that he made on Fundrise is doing great um, but you know they put fifty or hundred k into one into just one thing right so I, I totally get it uh, can can people invest through IRAs with uh, yes. in, in with Spark Rental great. Yep, you can invest in self-directed IRAs. You can invest with LLCs, with a trust. You know, married couples can invest together. You know, we we accept all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Why is SparkRail a necessary vehicle to the world? Like, why can't people just go and put their money into stuff and and uh, and, and do this on their own? Like, why SparkRail? Well, you can of course go do it on your own, but you're going to put fifty grand, hundred grand in each investment. Um, a lot of investors don't have. 50 grand, right? I mean, they just don't have it at all. No. Uh, some other investors do have it, but they don't want to put it all on that one horse, like you said, yeah. right? So, you know, when you can spread your money out among many of these deals, it just become, it becomes a numbers game. It becomes conceptual. Like, oh, you know, this one or two deals that we did this last year, maybe they perform, like, underperformed a little bit. And then, you know, these other couple deals like really, really overperformed and blew it out of the park. And then the rest of the deals, you know, came in as projected, maybe a little above as projected. Um, but you know, if you have to pick just one, then yeah, it's it's a nerve wracking experience. Yeah. A lot of people don't have the uh, the risk tolerance to do that. But diver I I believe personally that diversification is one of the the keys, the keystones of of risk management, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, so I actually I don't even invest in bonds really in my own portfolio. I invest. I have plenty of stocks, uh, you know, to get exposure to small cap, mid cap, large cap, you know, US yeah. stocks, foreign stocks, you know, every different sector of the economy. And that's an easy way to diversify in that sense. Uh, but then I also have a, a big real estate portfolio as well, uh, made up of passive investments, uh, investments in real estate syndications, largely. I also have some money in real estate crowdfunding, uh, partially because we do a lot of reviews of those on our site. And I want to know what I'm talking about. I want to have my own money in them if I'm going to talk about them. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, they're another viable way of investing passively in real estate. I, I cut my teeth in real estate buying rental properties and doing Burr deals or you know, fixer uppers where you go in, you mm -hmm. renovate it, and then you refinance it to keep it as a rental. Did a couple of flips. Uh, but being a landlord kind of sucks. Like I, I, I discovered at a certain point that you I preached into the landlord. choir, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I hated the 3 a.m. phone calls. Yeah. What's yeah, I, you know, I mean, I, I I'll give you one very quick story. Well, dude. My now wife, Katie, uh, when we first started dating, I mean, this was probably like our fourth date. Like, she came over to my house for I made her dinner. We were watching a movie. It's like a, a you know a random Thursday night or something, and there's this bum 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 on the door, and it's a, a tenant of mine who 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 didn't even speak English, and he, and he had his interpreter like cousin in law or whatever with him. Oh, and they're they're trying to communicate something about the property, and I'm like, guys, it's like 9:30 on, on like a Thursday night at my home. Why are you here? <laughs> like, man. But they thought that that was acceptable behavior, right? Yeah, like, sure. <laughs> well, you got You got You you married a uh, the good good of you to marry your girlfriend that put up with that. You know, it was like, ah, I get no big deal. You know, I, I guess that's just business as usual. <laughs> when you marry a landlord, yeah, well, you know? you know, lucky me, like you said, that, that she puts up with this kind of stuff and she did for many years. I've yeah, since gotten yeah. rid of most of my rentals, actually, all of my rentals as of uh, last week. I, I sold off my last rental. So, congratulations! Uh, congratulations! Thank you. Um, so, in, in my as I understand it, that, uh, that a non accredited uh, approaches a syndicator and says, you know, I want to put 5k into your deal. Cause the other thing is that like the, 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 the investor could try and convince the operator direct to take 5k. Right. Um, I would never take 5k direct from an individual investor only because the amount of paperwork that an investor and I have to fill out is like this thick. Right. Um, and, uh, and we, and we did it one time where we took a group, we took a, uh, group of investors on through a, uh, one of those online crowdfunding portals and it was a red hot mess. 
because we had to deal with those investors directly and we took them at $1,000 a piece. Um, there is a big value to organizations like yours that are aggregating smaller groups of investors and then that pool of investors can go into can go into a deal. I'm cutting one check to an operate to a, uh, you know, an aggregation company that's grouping the investors together, and uh, and you're passing the cash flow down line. I mean, it's it's a win win because then I can uh, participate and work with non accredited, which is we want to do. Every syndicator wants. Instead, said we don't want to work with non accredited. It's just that it can become a little bit of a headache. And this is a lot of pay. Non accredited require this much paperwork, you know, um, and that. So that's. That's another great reason why uh, that it's important. In addition, the SEC says that we can only deal with up to 35 non-accredited um, in a deal. So if I got a whole army of non-accredited that want to get into my multifamily deal, I got to tell the, the, the 36th investor and downline from there that, sorry, that's it, doors closed, right? Which that wouldn't be the case for you, I don't think, right? Correct. Yeah. So we mm. create a new LLC for every single deal that we invest in. So that LLC is a single non-accredited investor in the syndication deal, right? They, right. they call a sophisticated investor. Uh, so, you know, as many people as they want to can participate in our LLC, in that way they uh, but that still the counts as LLC. one. Yeah. LLC yeah. still counts as one non-accredited investor. Yeah, that's great. That's great. How does the investment committee work? How does that work? How do they present deals? How do they find deals? How does that vetting happen? Uh, talk us through that. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. Uh, the, the committee, to the extent that it exists, is my partner and co-founder, Danny Sipley, and, and myself. Uh, we just keep an eye out for deals that we think look promising. And when we see one that we think is a winner, we will send out an email to our club members and propose that as this month's deal. We'll okay. schedule a call with the, the sponsor to come on and answer questions directly to our, our members. Oh, they get to and meet the sponsor so, direct. Great. Okay. Yep. Yep. All so... Right. Yeah, so we vet the deal together as a as a club. You know, it's not like Denny and, and myself are are making the decision on this. We we simply propose the deal. We vet the deal together on a video call with the sponsor. Anyone can ask the sponsor questions directly, and then at that point, anyone who wants to participate can do so. Anyone who doesn't doesn't have to. Um, and by the way, we Denny and myself don't get a cut of any of the the money that we pull together for these. Uh, we make our money. On a, on a flat membership fee yeah. for this. And so not only do we not make money off the money we uh, pull together, we invest our own personal money in every single that's deal. Great. So it's like the opposite <laughs> of, of really, making money on really it. really good. You got to put your money where your mouth is. It's really great to hear. Um, so the, you're, really just, uh, you're really just creating a community and delivering value through deals and uh, community engagement and those kinds of things, right? So um, great. Exactly. I love it. Um, can people put in more than 5K into a deal? Like I assume oh, yeah. there's, there's like a limit just because of sizing and all that, or can they put in whatever they want above five? In most cases, they can put in whatever they want above five. Um, there are occasions where the sponsor will oversubscribe the deal and then they'll put a, a cap on how much we can invest. Yeah, um, That's very rare. Uh, that's, yeah. It's never been a problem. It's like an uh, allocation kind of thing. Like we're, we're going to give, uh, you know, you know, spark run all this allocation for this deal and right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, it hasn't been a problem. Got it. Got it. It's really great. Uh, you know, you and I share that, uh, that passion that what we do as syndicators should be available to all people. And I think that the pocky puck is starting to go in that direction and it's companies like yours that are really helping to move that and things like, um, investment aggregators and uh, crowdfunding portals. Then he had a question from the community that he wanted to pop in here. Uh, you built communities of investors. Can you speak to the importance of community and what you can learn from other people in the context of the beginning investor? I mean, Brian, I'm sure you've got some stories or anything you want to share there. I mean, you're building a community of rising investors. So uh, if you could speak to the benefit of having a community for beginners, that'd be great. Well, I'll, I'll give you a very quick story uh, sure. from this past week. We're in the middle Please. of doing our, our May uh, syndication deal for our club right now. And it's a deal in a suburb of Dallas, Texas. And I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, it is Dallas. <laughs> uh, and we were vetting the deal on a video call together. And I've never been to Dallas myself. Um, but a member of our club lives literally five minutes down the road from this apartment complex that we're investing in. Hmm. So, so she started telling us about the area, about the, uh, the low vacancy rate in the area, how no renters can find 
uh, housing in the area, uh, how the population in that uh, in both Dallas and in particular in that suburb have just shot through the roof in, in recent years. Um, so, you know, she's, she's telling us all this ground level information about, you know, not just the city, but the actual neighborhood uh, where this, this apartment complex is. And that was so valuable to, you know, not just our, the rest of our club members who were on that call, but also to Denny and myself, uh, you know, sitting there reassuring us that <laughs> this is a, this is a great deal and this is exactly you know what we should be investing in this month as, as this month's deal so that is the value of community right there knowledge uh, you have to, yeah, yeah. You have to to me, like, communities knowledge. create knowledge there are if i've got a community of people and these could be communities of you know people that are passionate about race car driving or whatever you know whatever it is that the community's directive and and common purpose is there are people that have different knowledge than i do right? Uh, different geographic location than I do, different backgrounds, different everything. And they can give different perspectives and different, like, you know, as you're referring to here, insider information um, and data, you know, on that. So that's a huge benefit to a community. So um, this is an awesome conversation, guys. Uh, I really need you guys to go and check out. If you guys are an accredited investor, uh, check out Spark Rental, uh, not accredited investor, go check out Spark Rental because you guys can get into deals for as little as 5k. Um, and, uh, Brian, if, our, if there are syndicators here, cause we've got a large community of folks, thousands of members of the Doris Insiders community, um, if they'd like to put a deal in front of Spark Rental for your consideration, please email me at brian at sparkrental.com or just support at sparkrental.com. If, if you right. are a sponsor, if you're a syndicator, um, yeah. and reach out to Brian, we'd love to hear from you. He's good people, you know, and, and that. So Brian, I'm sure we'd love to hear you guys out. Uh, and and, and uh, more than anything, if you guys are a non-accredited or even an accredited and you want to spread your money or out, it seems like your money would go a lot further and spread around if you considered Spark Rental as a... Uh, as a, as a community for yourself, Brian at sparkrental.com. Guys, please check out the podcast that I was on with Brian real quick. What's the name of your show? Well, it's called the Live Off Rents podcast, um, but we, we broadcast it in our uh, Facebook group, which has like 46,000 real estate investor members. Uh, it's the Landlord Real Estate Investors and Property Managers Hub. Uh, it goes on to Alan Apple podcast as well uh, and that. So he popped the link to it as well. Brian, thank you. Love to have you back on soon. Uh, guys, make sure you check out Brian's communities. And uh, Brian, appreciate your insight today, brother. Matt, thank you so much for having me on. This was yeah. a blast. All right, I'll see you. Guys, that was awesome conversation with Brian Davis. Make sure you check out his communities in uh, Spark Rental. Thanks again one more time to Brian Davis from Spark Rental for joining us today. Have a great weekend. See you guys next time. If you like this video, here's a few more you might like too. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video.